Hey everybody, Rob here with Backpacking Adventures. I thought I'd take a look today at what's in my first aid kit and my hygiene kit for backpacking trips. This one gallon Ziploc bag carries both my hygiene kit, my first aid kit, and a, some other few small essentials. When it comes to my hygiene kit and my first aid kit, I try to keep two things in the back of my mind. Number one, I'm only going to put stuff in my first aid kit that I know how to use. I am not going to be putting sutures onto people and doing minor surgeries. I just don't have the skills and the knowledge to be able to do that. So my first aid kit consists of things that I feel comfortable and I know how to use and that will hopefully get me out of the woods into where I can receive proper medical attention if I do need that. And then when it comes to my hygiene kit, my goal is, is to not have to carry stuff back out of the woods. I try to minimize the amount that I have to carry out of the woods. I'm not so worried about what I carry into the woods, and I hear a lot of people talking about that. Well, I'm not gonna carry that, that's too heavy. If it's useful, and I think that it's essential for myself, I'll, I don't mind bringing it into the woods. What I try to do is minimize what I have to carry out of the woods. This system that I use is modular, and depending upon the length of the trip, I just add components to it. I'm gonna open it up and I'll show you exactly what's in this kit now. Staying with the theme that I only bring stuff I know how to use. I've got some band-aids. I bring three, four, five band-aids. I bring an assortment of gauze pads from big down to small. I find that those gauze pads cut to the right size with this tape called Sensor Wrap. Sensor Wrap is extremely stretchable and it adheres back onto itself. It's not sticky, but it adheres back onto itself. The Sensor Wrap comes in a roll and all I do, because it is adhesive onto itself, is I take an old uh, card, I wrap it around the card, and then I just slide it off of the card, and that's how much that I bring. I learned my lesson by not having fingernail clippers. Fingernail clippers are a part of my kit now. And then ibuprofen or Aleve. This happens to be Aleve. Take one per time. I just write that on the bag so I remember. And I bring two for each day that I'm going to be hiking. One in the morning and one at night if I need it. Two pills to help alleviate hay fever or any respiratory thing that you may encounter. A little triple antibiotic ointment, some neosporin, and some antiseptic towelettes. That's the contents of my first aid kit. Here's my hygiene kit. Again, it's modular. I know what I like to bring for two days. So for every two day trip, I just pack up one of these kits. Inside, it consists of three individually separated out and rolled up pieces of toilet paper that are about 50 inches long each. <laughs> yes, I measure out the amount of toilet paper that I'm gonna bring. Three of these antiseptic towelettes for washing my hands afterwards. And six wet wipes. Three wet wipes for each day. Typically I'll use one at night and the other two in the morning. One of the things I like about doing it this way is I can just go ahead and I can grab uh, this in the morning, take this off to wherever the privy is or the slam box or whatever it is or if it's a cat hole and I just have to bring this with me. I can keep it kind of neat and organized. The last four things I always have with me, extra matches, another way to make fire outside of my cook kit some Cuban fiber tape for my Cuban fiber tarp in case something happens with that. I recently started carrying these little um, dental flossers and toothpicks. And then lastly, a little Ziploc that's got my toothbrush and toothpaste. I cut the handle off, not to save weight so much, but so that it fits in this little Ziploc baggie. At a minimum, these six components will always stay. At least an overnight setup for a hygiene kit, my first aid kit, toothbrush, flossers, Cuban fiber tape, and an extra way to make fire. Again, if I'm going on a three or four day trip, I just add one of those in, and I keep everything into that big Ziploc bag. Double and triple water protection in some cases. If you found this helpful and, and useful and informative, if, if me bringing 50 inch pieces of toilet paper was useful to you, and it's gonna help you out, 
go ahead and click thumbs up, click the like if you would, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. I'm really going to try to put out content and put out a video about every week and a half or two weeks or so at the most. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you on the trail. Inches each. <laughs> yes, I measure out the amount of toilet paper that I'm going to bring.